I'm Terence, I'm Terence Marilea Kentako, also known as Taco Universe. I'm a visual developer for the printed forms mm. and yeah, I enjoy drawing. That's me. Yeah, um, my name is Smiley Susibaya, aka Panda, and I'm also a visual developer slash concept artist for a company called Dibrente. My parents were sort of, well, my mom was encouraging of me, my artistic side, my creative mm -hmm. side, but my dad was sort of like, no, yeah, you can't go out and make a career out of Amabu by cartoons. Yeah. yeah, so it was a challenge. It was for me, I had to sort of like convince them and be confident that this is what I, this is the path I want to take. This is, this, I'm very confident in this. I'm going to do as much as re much research as I can to sort of show you that there's a future in this because they come from a different time. My mom was more encouraging. It was only the people around me who weren't encouraging, like other family members who were thinking I should maybe study law or maybe go in to be a doctor. But my mom always maintained the fact that no, my child is going to do this and he's going to do what he loves to do because she understood that having a job is, is hard. So why make it harder by like making it something you don't enjoy doing? Cultural representation is basically drawing from 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 who you are, and where you come from, where you come yeah. from, and having that infuse your work. So mm -hmm. at the end of the talk, we what the conversation we wanted to start is that well, we wanted people to celebrate diversity through mm -hmm. their art and yeah. encourage diversity in their art. So because. Basically, to sum it up is, if you can see it, you can become it. So, mm -hmm. if I represent myself in the best way I can, someone else can see it and be like, oh, I can become that as well. Yeah, so like, everybody around the world has a story. And it's very important that uh, you get your story out and you, you have your own unique background yeah. in what you've been through. Yeah. So, putting that into your work is, is, is very important to do because you will grow like a, a, a world of so many original stories mm. in a time where it's it's being it's it's becoming difficult to be original we are all unique so dig deep and, and you and already are, are unique, unique. And you yeah. already are unique tell your own Good stories story. and that will set you apart the core of our work is ourselves but the influence around you can't help the influence you you, mm. you enjoy other things you enjoy manga you enjoy um Marvel, you enjoy other 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 big studios that are in your face every yeah. day. So what we do is like you dig deep into yourself. Like when you draw or tell a story, the core has to be you. Mm. But then all the little inspirations mm. are just to can enhance, come from around the world to, to enhance, yeah. The, yeah, to enhance the world, the, the yeah, and make it relatable as well. But so the core always has to be you. Yeah. It's a program called yeah. Gassi Sketchbook Gassi where we go to, we try to do it all over Africa but we started in South Africa mm. because we recently did one in Kailicha where we teach, we try to inspire, we don't try to teach, we try to inspire kids to keep drawing mm. and continue like the, the, the conversation of okay if I don't stop doing this and if I want to take this into a career I can. If it's something I enjoy I don't have to stop it, I can do what I love and make a living off it. Getting them exposed to different different careers and and, yeah. and, and, and and animation and basically even when the event starts we, we, we try to invite the parents as well so they can learn. They can encourage the kids as well because now they can see that there's a future into the, mm -hmm. the arts. It's doing really well and we enjoy doing it because you can see all the kids they also love they love doing it, they get into it because we do things where we do gesture drawings, we pose and then the kids draw it mm. and then we take turns, like we, we are very interactive in that, in that way so it becomes more like a, a little drawing session than like, a, like us, we are, we are above you and we draw, we, we, we're showing you something, this is how you should do it. We become like, we, we teach them as a unit and we just have a chill session where we're drawing, yeah, with the kids. Well, we're currently working on our own personal project okay. um, because, uh, as we know, I'm like AKA, we're also known as Taco Universe, is also known as Panda, Panda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, we're working on a project like our own IPs as well, mm -hmm. called Tonko. You work yeah, on a TV Flame. show. I'm, I'm working on a comic uh, called Flame, uh, and we're also working on uh, uh, TV shows for a company called Diprente. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a company in, in, in Joburg and we're doing two shows. The one is called Junk Pilers 
and the other one is called the Nancy, which you can expect to see very soon. Just perseverance, don't stop drawing. If nobody nobody can tell you what you what you can and cannot be. Like it, it doesn't only stop on drawing. Like if you wanna be something, you can be that person. If you are good enough and you, you have the drive for it and you don't stop, there's no there's no such thing as a wall for you. And then like you just keep going forward, you will become whatever you want to become. I think it's like drawing from who you are. Mm, draw your world. If your work is honest, uh, yeah. people, people will relate to it. People and gravitate, gravitate towards, towards yeah. it. So just draw from who you are and just embrace it. Don't compromise. Yeah. Embrace your work.